Steven, and I'm on the board of Opportunity Village Eugene, and I've been doing a lot of the planning and design work. Um, my interest in this project dates back to 2010 when I completed my urban planning thesis on self-organized homeless camps in the U.S. While these places tended to be portrayed as disorganized states of emergency, I found they often exemplified effective self-management, participatory culture, and resilience. This research then collided with existing energy around the issue of homelessness here in Eugene, and has resulted in a dedicated and diverse group of people trying to implement what we believe to be a practical and cost-effective response to a complex issue. In doing so, we plan to transcend from the ne negative connotations of a camp to the concept of a village, a village that bridges the existing gap between the housed and the unhoused, creates a, creates a place where that collaboration can occur, and build social capital. This is how we believe we can effectively transition people off the streets, through the village, and into more permanent living situations. We've already interviewed and accepted our first 17 residents who are currently meeting twice a week to prepare for the opening, many of who are here today. We've been constructing the panels for the micro-housing through a prolific collaboration between residents, generous, volunteers, and skilled builders. And we've had five types of structures pre-approved by the permits department and we're ready to begin putting them up. Um, my only concern reading the, um, uh, the, the CUP hearing was the, um, what Dan had brought up regarding um, requiring to put, make permanent improvements to a temporary uh, use, but it seems like those have been addressed, so I think we're happy with the revisions. Um, so my only other request would be to expedite the decision, if at all possible, so we can get these structures up before it starts raining. 